If you guys want to know all about this Bobby Boss Yvetra lace part wig, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a first impression slash review on the Bobby Boss Yvetra lace wig. So this is the wig. So this wig is not a lace front, it's a lace part wig. The color that I purchased was TT Pink slash Gray and the style is M899. So let me show you guys the wig. So this is the wig. It's ombre and it goes from pink to gray. And then the bottom is a more darkish gray. This wig is really beautiful. This, this isn't something that I would wear every day, but I would wear it like if I was going out with friends or something like that. So the parting isn't that big at all. I'm gonna show you a picture. What I had to do was just tweeze the hair right here, and there is a big difference than what it was. There's no parting. In the wig when you first get it so I would recommend you tweeze the hair out so inside the cap there are no combs so you guys would have to be sure that you're comfortable with wearing a wig with no combs in it it is kind of weird I'm not gonna lie to you but there is no combs in here the only thing is an adjustable strap this is the front of the wig where the part is that's the only parting you have. And be sure not to part too much because if you part too much, you're gonna start to see the actual weft on the sides of the parting. If you don't want this color, this wig does come in various colors. They have green, I believe a darkish blue, and you know, the regular colors like 1B. So yeah, I got this from samsbeauty.com and the wig was under $40. It wasn't bad at all. I'm going to put the wig on for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is what the wig looks like when the part is in the middle. I have a huge forehead, so I do not wear my wigs like this. So if you guys like a middle part, this is what it looks like. I think it's a beautiful unit. Let me show you guys the bottom. It comes to here. The curls are beautiful. Let me show you the back. If you guys like this, this is fine, but I'm going to show you how I wear this wig. So this is what it looks like on the side. Um, when you get the wig, the... Curls aren't manipulated very much, but it doesn't look too tight. This look is from me just brushing it just a little bit, but it does look really pretty when you first get it. I really love this wig, guys. It gives me like a feeling of Marilyn Monroe or something. I don't know. But yeah, let me just move it over just a little bit more. And this is what this looks like. I love it. The only bad thing is, is this isn't a lace front, so you can't really put it in many ways, I feel like, because you just have this one part and the wig structure isn't like a lace front. So, so if you girls like to wear your part on the side, I'm going to tell you right now that it's going to be over your ear right here. You see that? The wig cap is actually on my ear. So that's the only downside. But just make sure you, you put the adjustable straps pretty tight when you do wear this. But yeah, I would say this is worth the money. And I don't regret getting this color because this doesn't have any combs. I mean, you can always sew them in, but I'm not going to do that. So buy this being the type of wig that it is, I would only wear this if I go out. So again, this is really worth it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, share this video with your friends. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at beautyonabudget underscore pink. 
All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them below. Bye.